Welcome to Seven Pot Club. I'm Rob. I grow hot peppers. First, I want to give a shout out to Anson in Ocala, Florida. I hope you were singing along. Today, I want to show you my seedling progress and unbox and demonstrate these new bendable three-headed gooseneck LED grow lights I recently purchased. Let's get started. I planted my hot pepper seeds a little over two weeks ago. I'm happy with the results so far, as there's at least one seedling popping up in all but a handful of the 144 cells. After all these years, I still have nightmares where none of my seeds sprout and I'm publicly humiliated in my underwear as the world's worst gardener. Luckily, that didn't happen this year. I'll give these youngsters a few more days, then do a complete survey and see if any varieties need to be replanted. I'm still watering from the bottom and usually add a cup or so of water to each tray every day. I also miss the seedlings a few times a day because indoor air is very dry in Minnesota during the winter. As you can see, I've removed the clear plastic covers from the trays. As the seedlings begin to sprout, I removed the tape that covered the air holes. Then I started giving them a little more uncovered time every day. At this point, I'm only putting the covers on overnight, but that will stop as soon as the seedlings start pushing against the top of the cover. I'll also remove the heating mat soon as I prepare the seedlings for the cooler temperatures of the basement, where they'll soon be transplanted into three and a half inch pots. My nursery is on a table in my office where I can easily monitor progress. My lighting needs in this room are temporary. I used to hang lights over the trays, but it took up a lot of space and they were always getting in the way. I was browsing Amazon recently and this three-headed gooseneck LED grow light caught my eye. I don't remember seeing this type of contraption a year ago when I was last shopping for lighting. Now there are dozens to choose from. I chose this particular model because the three arms provide pretty good coverage for a standard size tray. It clips on the edge of the table, which is very convenient. I like the way you can move the arms out of the way when you need access to the trays. Let's unbox one of these lights and see what's inside. But first, time to take a break and clear some snow. This has been the snowiest February ever recorded here in Minneapolis. The last nine inch dumping and subsequent removal operation was yesterday, but plows came through overnight and helpfully blocked our driveway with several hundred pounds of rock hard crud. Luckily, our trusty snowblower was able to break right through and make relatively quick work of removing it. I always enjoy snow boulder toss. Okay, back to unboxing. The packaging is very generic. There are only two items inside the box, the light itself and an instruction sheet. Remove the multiple layers of protective plastic wrapping and here's what you've got. This light is advertised as 27 watts which I guess is because it has 54 1 half watt LEDs, 18 in each arm. But when tested with my kilowatt, it consumes less than 16 watts of power. I don't really have any idea what wattage ratings really mean when it comes to LED lights. I wish I had the right kind of meter to test the output in lumens, but visually it seems bright enough to illuminate new seedlings until they're ready to be transplanted. The clip is sturdily made of metal with a powerful spring that grips securely. The three gooseneck arms are also constructed from metal and stay wherever you position them. Let's check out the functions of the remote. The power button turns on the light. The button with plus and minus symbols controls the brightness. It's not extraordinarily bright even at the highest setting, so I'm leaving this at full intensity. The button with the two arrows controls the colors. Blue, red, or both. I want all the colors. If you only need light from one or two of the three arms, the button with the light bulb symbol is the control you're looking for. Now, let's talk about the built-in timer. I was excited about this feature because it means you don't need an external timer, but it has some pretty serious limitations. There are three settings, four hours on, 20 hours off, eight hours on, 16 hours off, and 12 hours on and 12 hours off. This is from the time you hit the button. If you want different intervals, you're going to have to turn it on and off manually. You can't even use an external timer because you can't turn the light off and on by cycling power. And it won't come back on after a power failure as I discovered last week. Probably not a deal breaker, but something you should know before you buy. If you'd like to try one of these clip-on lights, 
I'll include Amazon affiliate links in the video description. Let's revisit a topic I've covered in the past. Removing seed holes. Sometimes the seed hole doesn't fall off when a seedling emerges. If you don't remove it, the seedling will die. If you don't remove it carefully, you'll take off the leaves and it will die anyway. Here's how I do it. Moisten your fingers with saliva. Clean the dirt off the hole and get it as wet as possible. Try and tease it off by gently wiping your fingers across the surface. Sometimes this works. If it doesn't come off, take tweezers and grasp the very end of the hole so you're not grabbing the leaves. Hold the stem with your other hand, then gently tug with the tweezers. If you're lucky, the hole will come right off. This seedling will live. Soon, we'll start transplanting these seedlings into three and a half inch seedling pots and move them to our basement grow room. We're trying some new to us organic nutrients this season and we're anxious to see how they perform. Of course, we'll be documenting each step of the process, so please subscribe to our channel and tap the bell to receive notifications as we post new episodes. We now have Seven Pot Club logo t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, and more, all in a variety of colors. If you're interested, head over to sevenpotclub.threadless.com. And for even more Seven Pot Club, follow our daily updates on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. For Seven Pot Club, I'm Rob.